We are about to do our long distance ride. I have my settings on Highline. I got my own street shaping here that I like. I'm gonna do that uh, for today. Starting at a full charge, 99%. I'm gonna try and go here from Union Square Park, which is where I'm at right now, uh, back to Brooklyn. This is about 10 miles to get back to Brooklyn, back to my place. I'm hoping that the board can go beyond the 10 miles. Uh, the GT, I got to 24 miles and that was phenomenal. Um, we'll see, but yeah, let's ride.
right, so we are now in Brooklyn. I just rode over the Manhattan Bridge. Uh, we are now in Dumbo, which is, uh, for those of you that don't know, Dumbo stands for Down Under the Manhattan Bridge Overpass. So now we are hitting that up. I am gonna cruise on over, keep going into Brooklyn, uh, into my neighborhood. So, I think I know where I'm at now. I don't need Google Maps. Uh, but yeah, we'll see.
Prospect Park, where the art here is influenced by the Art de Triomphe in France.
Welcome back. My name is Thomas. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching my videos. Appreciate you. Uh, today was the range test. I am riding the One Wheel GTS Series Rally Edition. Today I rode 14.2 miles. I don't know if you can see that. 14.2 miles and I made it back home with 14% battery life. I hit the yellow bar light, uh, the warning low battery light and uh, let me know I think I was ready to go home. Um, again, I have 14% battery life left so if need be, uh, if I weren't close to my home, I could go out and uh, probably ride another couple of miles. Um, maybe even three if I needed to. So 14.2, 14, 15, 16, 17 miles potentially uh, at the at the max end of range, um, which honestly isn't too bad. You know, I rode very comfortably today. Uh, I did not adjust uh, the way that I rode. Um, I pumped up my tire to 31 psi. If I were doing long distance, uh, even on the GT, I'd probably pump it up to 31 just to get that little extra uh, bit of range that I can get. You can definitely commute on this board, I think. Uh, like I said, 14 miles, and I still had some extra, uh, extra range available to me. Um, me being a bigger guy, that's pretty darn impressive. 14 miles and still have some room to wiggle with. Um, I'm very impressed with this board. Uh, I have had a lot of fun experimenting and pushing this board to its limits to see what it's capable of. Uh, it has given me a ton of confidence, truly, uh, with what I am able to do and where I think I might be able to go. I did order the rail guards uh, because, uh, if you can't tell, the um, the rails are pretty scratched up already. Here, I'll show you. Ugh. This is what it looks like at the moment, and I mean, I've I've put the, I've I have I have put some love into this board already. I've pushed it, and I have really tried to see what this board is capable of, and uh, it's really impressed me. But it is sad that. Uh, it is sad that it's not as pristine as it was once I when I first opened it in the box. Um, I know it wasn't going to last uh, forever, but I thought it'd look I thought it would look a little bit nicer. <laughs> but uh, that's just me. All, all in all, you know, I think uh, this is a pretty darn amazing one wheel. It's the board that, for me that I think I wish that it was when I first started riding. For me, I started on the one wheel XR and. It blew my mind. It, it was the ultimate nostalgic machine. Uh, made me feel like I was 16 years old again, going up in the mountains and snowboarding in Colorado. Uh, it was awesome. Just pure joy and bliss. Um, and I could push that board pretty hard too, um, being a bigger guy, but I had experienced it dropping me a couple of times just because I reached its torque limit and it couldn't support me. And the, the nose just you know, drops and you fall, um, that's not as fun. Uh, you know, I've experienced a fall on all of the boards. Um, this one, knock on wood, that I don't experience it, but I probably will. Um, you know, even on a VESC, I've experienced having the board drop me. And it's not fun, it's a little scary. This board is for sure the most stable board that One Wheel has created. Uh, it's probably the safest board out there um, in terms of handling your weight, handling speed, handling torque, low end power. It's hard to have criticism because it's just impressive. That's kind of it. The other question that needs to be answered is, is it worth the price? Now, for the One Wheel GTS Rally Edition, you're paying $3,500 for the board. And that is with the low boy foot pads, the standard GT bumpers, and the new recurve rails. Um, six inch hub, six inch tire, performance tire. The six inch hub and the tire make a pretty significant difference in my own opinion. Um, it's probably a combination of everything, of what's making me feel this way, but when I'm riding in the streets 
and I have jagged concrete, jagged asphalt, uh, it gets chunky. And the board is able to absorb that chunk and keep me stable and help me just plow through. Um, and same on trails. Um, it's pretty darn phenomenal how much power it has on the low end torque. I can go from slowing down rapidly and then picking up speed again within a second or two. Whereas in the GT, I would slow down rapidly, make a tight turn, try to pick up speed, but then you'd hit the, uh, the, haptic the haptic buzz, you know? And so it'd start to beep at you as you're trying to pick up speed. With this, it has the power to be able to carry you from low momentum, zero momentum, and create speed out of nothing. It's truly remarkable for somebody of my size to be able to ride this thing and have literally no problems. Now, that is a pretty, pretty damn powerful board just right out of the box. Uh, in terms of upgrades, you don't really need to get much. For me, I, for me, I want the uh, the rail guards. I initially didn't think that I would want them, um, and being that the, the price of the board was so high. I was not interested in bundling uh, in any, you know, buy a charger, buy a, a fender, buy a rail guards package. Uh, that was even more money. Uh, and uh, it was hard to pull the trigger uh, on the price for this board. It's expensive. And uh, when it came with tax, it was 3800 uh, and some change. And uh, what I ended up doing is I sold my GT, um, and I really lucked out. Uh, the board was operating. Uh, I sold the board uh, for $1,200, uh, and then that was to help kind of supplement the, the full cost of the GTS. Um, and so I ended up paying the rest of it. Um, but it's an expensive board. My wallet hurt. And it was tough pulling the trigger. You know, I had to have a conversation with my wife even uh, about whether this is something that I should do. Um, luckily, I had some savings to be able to do this, but still, it's a lot of money. Um, for the average person, is it worth it? I think if you have the uh, ability and the funds to be able to afford the sport without it affecting your life, then definitely do it. It's an amazing piece of technology. The board is the... For me, it's the best thing that I've ever ridden, um, hands down. It's given me so much confidence. Uh, if you are in a, a different financial circumstance where this is out of your budget, uh, that's okay. You know, the the standard GTS is also phenomenal. It's at a lower price, but that's still also really high. The GT is a fantastic board as well. Um, for me, it did the job for a long time, and I'm a heavier, bigger guy. Uh, for any average Joe weighing type of guy or gal, uh, the GT will suffice no problem. Um, and uh, I've never ridden a Pint or a Pint X. Uh, I may have like hopped on it for a second, but I've never really ridden it, um, so I don't have much experience there. Um, I think if you are uh, a very small rider, then I think the Pint might be appropriate, but I think any average adult, you're going to want an XR or a GT at the standard. The XR was a phenomenal first starting board. Uh, it showed me what what was possible with the one wheel, um, and it, it kind of shaped my uh, fantasies and what I might be able to someday do you know and watching all the videos of the riders that are out there around the world is pretty amazing because it just inspires you to try and uh, get better and you know and try and keep up with everybody uh, this is a pretty awesome community to be part of and uh, i feel happy and grateful that i was able to join the community um, this is not a cheap hobby um, it's not the most expensive hobby that's out there but it's not cheap you know um, but if you can afford it the GTS Rally Edition is certainly worth the cost. You get a lot more bang for your dollar. You get power, you get speed, you get low end torque, you get style, you get recurve rails, which for me, I didn't think was gonna make that big of a difference, but I do feel more locked in. I do feel more secure, more stable when I'm going off of drops, when I'm trying to do a tight curve, tight turn, excuse me. Um, I think the recurve rails do make a difference. Um, I like the way I'm leveled on the board. Uh, you know, with the shaping uh, 
with the shaping settings, you can really make it however you want it to feel. And uh, for me, I've got a couple of different shaping settings that I think work well for me and my writing style. Um, so all in all, I really like this board. I'm very happy that I spent the money on this board. And if you are able to afford it, I'd recommend you go for it. If not, don't stress about it. You're not missing out super hard, uh, but you are missing out because it's a, oh my God, it's crazy good. Uh, but uh, the GT is fantastic too, and so is the XR, and so are the Pints. Um, either way, if you're thinking about riding a one wheel, if you're thinking about joining the community, I say go for it. Grab a board, have fun, hop on, learn how to ride, and just enjoy. So thanks for watching. If you liked my video, uh, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe. Uh, it helps my channel. Um, if you enjoyed uh, what you saw and want to, you know, give me some feedback, I really do appreciate you leaving a comment as well. Um, so thanks again for watching my videos, and I will catch up with you next time.